as Dr. Chesson said, I am uh, starting my second year. I was able to do uh, my student teaching at Maricopa High School as well. So I've been here for a couple of years. Um, my story began, I um, grew up in a very small town in West Virginia. My father was a construction worker. We grew up in a very, what we call, blue collar area. And um, a much, much different culture, if you will. Um, the percentage of individuals that attended college from my hometown is a unimpressive 17 percent. So as the first member of my family to attend college, um, I have a, have a very unique outlook as far as that goes. Um, perhaps more significantly to my story as a teacher, um, and something you might notice about me right up front is I am in a wheelchair and I was born with a um, condition called cerebral palsy because of a brain injury at birth. So I uh, was the first member of my family to attend college, as I said, and uh, sort of fell in love with this thing called science. I found something out about myself at this point in my life, and that was that not only do I need something that I love to do and I find interesting, but even if you reach a plateau, I uh, personally feel that I need um, to be challenged intellectually on a continual basis in a lot of ways, and boy, did I find a job to do that. Um, I made a really big switch here and moved 2,000 miles away from my hometown and I joined the teaching college at Arizona State, but I really had no idea what I was getting into, to be quite honest. I didn't ever see myself as a teacher. Um, I thought that that was going to be something that I would never do. And um, this side of things isn't really what's important. Honestly, as a scientist, um, speaking about education, I like to do in mathematical terms. I'm a very physical-minded person, so if I could, I would like to uh, make a fact that I've noticed about education as a whole, and that it's all about the numbers at the end of the day. At every level of education, numbers is kind of what controls us and dictates all the things that we do. So um, I would like to point out just a single number that is really the most important one to me. Uh, the number that gets me excited about being a teacher, and that is 178. As of uh, this morning, 178 students are enrolled in Mr. Smith's biology class at Maricopa High School. Um, with them comes 178 personal stories. Uh, 178 faces, which I am proud to say I have finally met names to and memorized. Um, 178 sets of test scores that we are all in the game of making sure they reach the standards that we have in place for them. 170 home lives and 178 different struggles that they bring with them every single day. They are 178 <laughs> reasons why I come to work. I get to see almost every day 178 moments of brilliance. I get to see 178 learners learning. I get to see 178 shows of creativity. You have never experienced learning quite the same way until you have tasted the sweet success of a accurately labeled animal cell watermelon. <laughs> I promise you. With these students, however, and as a first year teacher, I have 178 daily challenges. There are 178 cell phones in the classroom. Uh, sometimes there are 178 acrobats. But at the end of the day, there are 178 people that I get to see every morning and that will be there for me tomorrow. 178 things that make me laugh on a daily basis. 178 lab scientists that we experience different things with in uh, science class that I am very proud of. So at the end of the day, this number is the one that dictates my career and this is 178 reasons why I really enjoy this job for a really long time to come. So thank you very much for having me.